Hey, what's up everybody? I uh, wanted to just uh, make a video here tonight. Some of you have already seen the big uh, mill in, uh, you know, probably seen in the background of videos. For those of you that follow the Shock Life video series over on the other channel, uh, have seen a lot of details about it even when I went and picked it up. Um, and if you're not subscribed to that channel and you want to see more of just kind of what goes on here every day, uh, I'll put a link here. You can come check that out. Very informal videos, usually three to five minutes, just kind of showing, you know, what's going on for the day. So if you want, you like that kind of thing, feel free to join there. If not, you can stay tuned here where every Monday we'll have a video, some kind of metalworking video, and then uh, periodically we'll have the fabrication basics uh, video on this channel as well. Um, so yeah, just uh, this is, you know, kind of a cool thing unloading a big machine like this and I uh, thought I would you know film it and share it with everybody uh, we used the heavy-duty dollies that we made uh, those were a fun project uh, because everybody had ideas of course I asked for input everybody had ideas on what what that should look like uh, how those should be built and whether it'd be strong enough or not of course they were great uh, for this but um, anyway so let's just jump in and look at the footage here um, so again we used k &S towing out of Corsicana and um, you know they sent one of their heavy duty rigs out as you can see a uh, big red one this time last time they had a white one and our driver is a guy named Dog just a really uh, just a super nice guy super helpful and you'll notice you know when he's working here uh, just how much care and attention he pays to what he's doing um, you know not to damage the equipment you know make sure the straps aren't binding on any cables things like that um, you know, not in a hurry, uh, takes his time. I can see here he's going up and uh, again checking the straps, making sure they're not binding on anything, uh, any of the wiring or anything like that. So once he felt good about it, he went ahead and, you know, lifted it up. Of course, that big heavy machine, you know, no problem at all lifting that up. I'm gonna speed the footage up here. You'll notice that uh, there's a real tendency for that thing to want to swing, and he really does a great job of, you know, uh, the way he sort of pulls up a little bit and then lets the lets the momentum of the of the unit, uh, you know, kind of catch up to him. So he really didn't get it swinging a lot. I mean, it was swinging a little bit, but um, you just tell the guy knows what he's doing. All right, so here we got it back into place. And those dollies uh, on the seat channel, it wasn't quite enough room uh, in there for the casters to get spun around the other way. So I kept having to, you know, get those twisted around. Uh, so here we're just kind of getting it, getting it positioned, getting those casters flipped around. You see, we go ahead and uh, dog's going to just let it down easy. And you notice the those dollies didn't budge, didn't make any noises, didn't seem like they were in any kind of under any kind of duress at all. I mean, the one thing I'll say is, uh, by the way, just going to give a shout out to uh, BCBL02. I'm going to put a link to his channel in here if you uh, haven't subscribed to him and you want to see some really cool. Uh, if you want to see a real big Cincinnati mill, this is kind of a baby compared to his. Um, he's the one that, you know, turned me on to this mill and uh, and helped me uh, help me get it purchased and, and all that. So you see we got it pushed in, no problem. A little bit of a hard time getting it started, but once you got it started rolling, it rolled pretty easily. It's, it's right at eight feet tall and the opening was eight feet tall. We had about an inch clearance <clears throat> there uh, getting it through. So uh, again, big thanks to Dog and KNS Towing. They were great, uh, good people to work with. So uh, once we got it inside, it sat for two, three days over in, in one part of the shop. Uh, and we just kind of moved some of the tables and things out of the way uh, to make room. And um, this is Lonnie. He's uh, you know one of the fabricators here helping me. Um, and uh, so he's helping me get the get this moved into place. You can 
obviously getting it started is a little bit of a challenge, but once you kind of get it rolling, it, it rolls actually pretty well. I think with some better casters, it would, you know, more, uh, let's say well-made, not Harbor Freight casters, it probably would have been a much easier to move, but even with that, it moved pretty well, no problem with that. several times, two or three different times to get the right length straps in the right position to, to get it all uh, unloaded and, and all that. So uh, anyway, just wanted to share this with uh, video with you guys. Uh, this machine is still not under power. Hopefully next week uh, we'll have uh, the electrician out and uh, get this thing powered up and, and running and hopefully you'll see it in a lot of videos to come in the future. So thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.